guys, it's Emmeline. So today I'm gonna do a Christmas house tour. So here is just an overview of my living room area. So this is what it looks like. I have done like full house tours before, so I'm only gonna show you guys like the Christmassy parts of the house because there's no sense of going through everything. So I'm gonna tell you guys where I got stuff from because I know you guys are probably wondering. So this is my Christmas tree. I am so happy with how it came out this year. I think it came out so cute. So if you guys watched my vintage haul, you guys would have seen this angel. She does light up, but I don't have an extension cord for it to reach. I'm gonna get one. Um, so that is vintage. My tree is from Hobby Lobby. And this year my theme was whimsical. And I wanted it to kind of feel like very girly and childlike. So um, these tags right here and these are actually like from Target and they're supposed to be like on gifts. But I thought they looked really cute on the tree and I felt like it kind of just looked like childlike. And it was just kind of fun I feel like to have like paper ornaments on it. Um, these are also little tags for presents. I have that one, and then I also have this one. And then, believe it or not, these are actually also tags. Um, not tags, but they're like little decorations for your present. So these aren't actual ornaments. It came in a set of two, it came with this one, and then this one. And once again, these are from Target. But I just thought they look like vintage ornaments, and they're so cute. Um, so then again, from Target, I got these little pine cones, and then I got this like champagne set of um, little balls. So Target had so many cute things for the tree this year. I was going crazy, obviously. So under my tree, I always like to put really cute little decorations under it. So this is actually the Too Faced um, makeup set. Brianna got this for me for my birthday, which is on Saturday. Um, but yeah, so this is the little set. It's so cute. I love it. Over here, I have a Laudre box. Um, this is just a cute little church. I think we got it from like Family Dollar. These boxes, these like round boxes, are also from Target. They're so cute. I feel like they look vintagey. I have another Laudre box. Target had this wrapping paper, and this was actually the th the first thing that I saw, and that's how I decided what I wanted my tree to look like. I feel like this is just so like fun, whimsical, and childlike. So I just got some of this wrapping paper and I wrapped some boxes in it. Um, I have another lottery box. I have a bunch of lottery bags. And then I wrapped another um, box in the uh, wrapping paper back there. I have another one of these little houses. And then this is actually normally my tree topper, but um, I just put it in the bag this year since I had the angel. And I'm not sure where that's from. I've had it for so many years. And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you guys probably would have seen that we found this vintage record player um, in my parents' basement. So my mom gave it to me and I'm so excited. So we found this Bing Crosby um, old record. I kind of want to like redo this record player though and make it like cute, like maybe put this wrapping paper on it. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I wanna ruin it, but I think it would just look really cute. So I thought I would show you guys how cute this little record player is. Jingle bells to jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is. So I thought that was so cute. I just wanted to show you guys because it just sounds so vintagey and adorable. And then up here, I have, um, I'm sure most of you guys probably don't know this, but when I was younger, my mom had me do a vintage angel collection and vintage purse collection. So I have a ton of these vintage angels. Um, this one just kind of matched the theme this year. So I just have this one out. I think she's so cute. Like I'm just obsessed with it. She's so adorable. Over here is like my sofa area. So obviously I have my little Wilbur. Say hi, Wilby. And um, I have these really, really cute pillows. Sorry, the light, the lighting is like super bright right now. Um, so Gabby actually gave me these pillows. She got them from Etsy. Um, 
but they're so cute I'm like obsessed with them they just match my house so perfectly so I have this one too and the pillows in the back are from Ikea and then this is a wreath that I made last year and I just used um, like these ornaments are from Target the other ones are all from um, antique stores and I will have a video on how to make this so that will be coming soon um, over here I just have <laughs> Wilbur's like following me everywhere over here I have this vintage tree that I've had for a little while it's just super cute right will be so then over here is like my fireplace area so on my TV stand I have these little vintage um, girls they're so cute and they're just holding these little Christmas trees they're like one of my favorite Christmas ornaments and then over here is like my fireplace area so I have these pillows that I actually made from my bedspread from when I was like six years old I just couldn't part with it so I made them into pillowcases here is another Bing Crosby record um, that I have there's actually like a ton of them in here so I thought that was really cute and the colors just match my house really well and then I have these this was actually cutie stocking and this one is Wilbur's so I have those there and then I have another record <laughs> and then I wrapped another box in that paper and I have some of these little candy canes the pastel ones you guys know last year I went crazy looking for them you guys can see my reflection I have like a sports bra on <laughs> and like leggings because I was just working out but here um, I found these really cute vintage um, candlestick holders and then I just got white candles from the store and then I just um, Mod Podge glitter on them and I think they came out really cute and then over here I have Walt Disney Records now moving over to my desk area um, I have this card that Brianna got me Mickey Mouse you guys know obviously I'm so obsessed with Disney so I have a Mickey Mouse wallpaper also <laughs> This is this little doll I got from when I went to see the Christmas Spectacular last year. She kind of like lights up and stuff. Um, I love the rock hats. This I got at Cape Cod. And that's pretty much it for my desk area. So now we're in my room. And my room isn't like crazy decorated for Christmas really. Um, I just kind of have a few things in here. So over here I have this garland with like snowflakes on it and then I just have my lights up that I always have I got these from Amazon I know people keep asking me about those and then people always also ask me about my bedspread this is actually vintage so I got it in the antique shop and my mom had the same exact one when she was younger so I just thought it was really cute to have um, and then on my nightstand I have this little vintage car it's not actually vintage but it just looks Kind of vintagey. Um, I got that in Long Beach Island, and then this I also got in Long Beach Island. I love these like little deer. I think they're so cute. And then I have a candle from Bath and Body Works. It's called Cinnamon Stick. And normally right here I have my Christmas tree. Um, I will show you guys that. It's this Christmas tree, but it keeps falling over. The cat keeps knocking it over, so the decorations keep falling off of it. So that's why they're all like weirdly placed right now. So I just kind of put it um, on like my tea cabinet for now just so that he doesn't knock it off. But when I film, I'm probably going to have to redecorate this and put it back over there. That is it for my Christmas house tour. I know it was really quick, but I don't have too many decorations up. I just kind of went light this year on them. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what types of Christmas videos you guys would like to see. And also let me know what part of my house was your favorite. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.